I hope you are ready to continue because I am ready. 73% more than usual. I mean, 73% ready, which is 6% more than usual. And this intro was 40% rehearsed. So we are going to finish up these examples in Syria, kind of parallel lines, large scale, and then some smaller scale parallel lines as well. Cameroon, some very, very faint stuff we will check out. And then Lucia, California, some faint potential stuff up the cliff sides here. So Google Earth. Syria, let's hit up Syria. And it's right here in this general area. At first glance, it looks like it's probably has some type of volcanic component. It looks like some type of volcanic field with these like crater type things. Maybe even a meteor field, but I'm thinking more of like some type of volcanic activity. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And so the large scale parallelness I'm referring to is these streaks like and a strong chance they are natural sand flows or from some type of gigantic flood or something just once more throwing it out there that maybe it is artificial okay and why would i think that um no real good reason just going off of this alone um but given the scale of the whole project in general, like stuff can be seen everywhere. And then also there's more, um, a whole bunch of micro things to observe in this area, like stone circles or similar. I can't really verify that it's made of stone, but similar to stone circles, we've got dashed lines like we've seen everywhere, little horseshoe mounds and stuff like that. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go through all of the place marks here right now, but I'll touch on a few. Um, let me hit these uh, parallel lines first. So these are smaller scale parallel lines uh, like this. And we do see tri tire tracks here for sure. Um, but I'm not entirely convinced that one of these may be tire tracks right there, perhaps. Not entirely convinced that this is modern surface work. So let's look back in history quickly. 2020, um, 2011, and we see all the other sets as well. And as far back as we get is 2004, and we can't really say much about 2004. It looks like the parallel lines are still there but it's kind of too faint. But apparently, yeah, here's a good example too, of these pretty, or fairly, fairly deep grooves here. Multiple directions here with the stone circles. Alrighty, and plenty of angular things as well. <sighs> Tire tracks, oh, there, see this is one of those areas that has heavy modern work and potentially heavy uh, weird terraforming work as well. So it's it's kind of a mess and it's, it's particularly hard to draw conclusions in places like this. But the general idea is this whole area has these patches of uh, parallel lines and then other direction as well. Uh, just a bunch of these little patches of lines. 2018, 2011, 2004, can't really make anything out. These uh, stone circles or well, they might even just be rocks or stones boulders, this, and what else did I see a moment ago? I 
how about you got this, whatever that is, these stone circle things. Okay. Give me a second. I thought I saw something a minute ago. Well, can't remember. Whatever. But, yeah, this whole area, which is about 25 miles long, is uh, covered in these patches of parallel lines, sets of parallel lines, if you will. And then we also have potential stone circle work here. Some angular stuff there, almost a pentagon there. Just, again, it's gibberish, if you ask me. I could be wrong. But these many, many sets of parallel lines. This not looking natural. These haphazard circles or shapes. See, we have tire tracks. We, should, we certainly do. And we also have these parallel streaks. Um, and what else do we have? Uh, I'll just touch on a few of the place marks. So this pattern's like dashed. Just like dashes of blotches. It's pretty odd, I think. See that? And the parallel lines, and then we have this like ju 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 somewhat strange, I think. Similar stuff here, some faint parallel stuff. Just who knows, surface mining maybe, or any number of conventional explanations. Here's a long straight line. We like those, don't we? Road, maybe. 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 Okay. Or any number of vehicle types. Tracks from any number of vehicles. But yeah, just the parallel lines, the many dots and circles and shapes. Here we see like a, a deep little groove at the end of each line, just kind of many haphazard patterns, angle there, large area, let me turn my place marks back on and hit on some of the, okay, so bumps, and yeah, more of, more of this type of thing, the Whatever this is, these bump things, what look like bumps, dots, mounds, uh, holes or spoil piles perhaps from some type of digging, whether modern or strange. Here looking like a kind of a stone circle pattern. Just weirdness, more notchy knobs or holes or mounds, whatever you want to call it. Okay, pretty large scale, parallel lines, parallel lines. Okay, and I think there's plenty more I can show. Wavy lines, natural. Um, it's debatable, it's tough. Some of these I could see being natural, like little indentations or, uh, or even rocks just sitting on top of the mountaintop. Some of them look a little more well-defined, the stone circles, I mean. And then, uh, what else? Um, give me a moment to collect my thinking. Uh, so these, I mean, these are obviously artificial. These may be turn turnarounds 
from tractors. Like this might all be modern. Certainly plenty of vehicle tracks in the area. Uh, there are a lot of like weird looking earthworks type things like this, this uh, again, very haphazard look to it, almost like Jordan, like the stone circles and kites in Jordan. Maybe we should cruise over there just for reference, but just kind of random patterns like this. And you see the little notches or the on the side of it, stuff like this. That's why I think maybe surface mining fits the build best. We've got like ridges like this that kind of start and stop. Pretty interesting. You see that um, possible spoil piles right here. So this may all be modern. Maybe not. This horseshoe th th uh, shaped thing is pretty common. Dashed ridge, so we've got this dash pattern again, and then kind of an angle there. Going around, meandering, got all these little indentations for whatever that's worth. More stuff here, and the whole area basically looks like this. Just tons and tons of it. And yeah, executive decision, I'm not going to show you every single place mark on this one. Number one, because I may have already done so and I just kind of forgot that I did. Um, and number two, it's pretty much more of the same. So again, these notchy, it's a pretty wide scale. Let me measure one of these. One of these grooves is 30 feet across, so I guess that could be done by a conventional vehicle, a pretty large scale one. I guess if you're working on the same area for decades and decades, then yeah, you might make an impact. Like you see all this, certainly all cut up and stuff, or worked over. See these linear notches like this. And again, the dashed pattern around the outside. The sky. Okay, um, yeah, there weren't too many parallel lines. I mean, up here, there's a whole bunch of them. But uh, at this point, I'm just showing you the surrounding area. Modern industrial activity, good chance. Perhaps. This looks definitely like a modern road, I would say. Stone circles, maybe, maybe. Gibberish. Who knows? Let me go to Jordan real quick and just show you a uh, an example or two of um, the weirdness there, the, the gibberish and stone circles and stuff. I think it's up here, yeah. Lines and circles. So kind of a similar thing. Um, these lines, and then the stone circles. And these, uh, yeah, these odd arrays of lines and pretty ubiquitous in the area. More of it. So there's that to consider. the meandering lines and circles. Okay, hey, a set of parallel lines. How appropriate, patchy wide lines. Yeah, some more just kind of gibberish. This is in Jordan. So it's pretty much 
an extension of the same landscape as up here in Syria. The, uh, these types of lines, very similar, I would say. And certainly not identical, but that may be by design, just slight variations. Okay, let's um, leave this area behind and go to Cameroon, which is where? One of these, this one. So let's start off over here in Cameroon. So this big old area, the cliff notes or the general idea is that there's these very faint indications of parallel lines and or just straight lines in the area and don't have one marked right here but you see this guy just a nice clean line there it's again it's very difficult to see but if you follow it right there here it's a little clearer and then it's kind of a little too faint for a while and you see, barely see the edge of it there and possibly continuing here here possibly another one and yeah very many of these that we could point out so how about these ones that I have highlighted let's check them out oops So I'm saying there's one like right here. Here, do you see this? Like that. Hopefully you see that. Uh, and maybe curving like that. Maybe like that. So turn this back on real quick. I'm not sure I even had that highlighted, but and then here the highlighted one is like right here. I, sometimes I feel like I'm just like cherry picking like a, a combination of um, like the way the shadows look and then just whatever angle I happen to be looking at the image at um, is going to affect which lines or apparent lines jump out at me and so like this could just be like shadow or even like an animal trail hmm <sighs> This may be, this may be. So again, if there is anything in this area, it's pretty faint and difficult to make out in some cases, or in almost, in most of the cases. This looking like a trail. Okay, what else? One down here as well, look at these. So I'm saying I see one right here going across like that. So do you see it? Do you see one here too as well, kind of? Um, again, this is one of those where your eyes kind of have to adjust and you may need to uh, do your own scroll around to convince yourself. So just download my place marks and locate the area. Um, It's a tough call for me. So this isn't obviously my strongest example, but I uh, I like to point out the, the edge cases in addition to the stronger ones. I think it's somewhat useful at least. Um, this one, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Okay, uh, bear with me. Parallel grooves. This, I think I just meant like, this isn't a good example. Just like one, two, three, but that has a more natural look to it. So I don't really wanna present that as 
a strong example or one I feel confident about. Just looking for more. Okay. Again, some areas are going to have an image with better contrast so that lines will jump out at you. Or just a different look to it. Maybe something there, maybe not. Okay, where else? Over here. Straight line, what do we got? I think I mean this. So like you see here, something there. And then seems to be continuing here some fashion maybe even through here very faintly again very faint and looking like it may even continue up here maybe see the edge of it there could be and what about these uh, parallel lines these So I kind of see something here, a faint edge of it there, faint edge there maybe, and then maybe a similar thing along this path. And there's a number of other paths you could point out as looking very similar to those. So that's just highlighting two among many that we could point out, like maybe this as well. So arg. It's probably a little frustrating to watch. It's also frustrating to present. Um, I don't know, maybe I should have skipped this area, but uh, I, I feel like we need to run the comb over many, many different types of terrains to see what's really going on, if anything. See, even like this, that could be shadows or hard to say. Angular, no, maybe not. It is all a tough call, okay. Um. All right, I think fairly uniform valley with uniform tick marks. Kinda, I just got distracted. And that looked pretty natural. Okay. Um, so that was Cameroon, and then Lucia, California is what I wanted to finish with. So let's hop over there. Somewhere. I think it's somewhere near Big, Big Sur. So this is that area in the still image. And before I go over there, I want to cover some surrounding area because I'm seeing like some quasi linear grooves up the hillside. Maybe even like here, maybe not, but uh, what do we got here? This looking pretty linear for a while, like from here to here looks fairly linear. And does it continue? Like it seems to continue in some fashion up here. Could be a trail. Some of these looking more straight than others. Could be a coincidence. And 
And what else did we have? So we have these parallel lines, like here, here, and here. Here as well a little bit. And that could just be modern landscaping. Let's check that out, 2002. So you get a good view of the contrast there. Yeah, so whatever it is, it's there, like fairly straight pretty widely spaced regular parallel lines there as well. Get a sense of the scale of it. And yeah, there we go, 2002. And then what about before? 94, it might still be there. Possibly new. Um, I can almost see faint bits of it in 1994. I couldn't tell you. I'm not sure. 2002, certainly these are there. What about 94? Not looking like it's there. So it might be new or it might be old and it's um, the topsoil is eroding away to reveal it. It's possible as well. So linear crack. I'll skip that. Actually, yeah, I'll probably skip that. Over here, though, what do we have? So we have some potentially linear features, like from here to here. Uh, let's see, this one, possible like here, possible here. This one, oh, this one, I think I'm referring to like this. It's not super clean. Linear ravines, okay. So these ravines, like this, it's a pretty common thing to see a linear gash or um, gouge or path ups, up a hillside, kind of. Like you almost see an extension of it there. Like, in Mauritania especially is where we've uh, seen this mostly and then some other places as well possibly that possibly even like a faint thing going like that and this kind of linear guy here perhaps hmm Okay, so that's for consideration. Um, these parallel streaks could be natural. So I'm a little disorganized on this segment. Bear with me. So we have the spotting pattern on the, the whole area, or pockmarked look. Interesting. Linear ravines, check older photos. Okay, so if this is not modern, then this is a good example, I would say. So see how straight and perfect this is? Just a nice linear groove. And it kind of trails off there. And then meanders naturally. Possible parallel stuff here, whether modern or not. This could even just be a fence or something. But it's got a definite like taper or flare out to it. Like it's narrower here and it's wider at the tip. And then also compare it with like this, and even this, maybe this, maybe even stuff like this. 
That's a toughie. Maybe this. So this could be modern work, but if it's not, then it's a little too straight to be considered natural. It's awkward looking, I'll, I'll say that. And that doesn't necessarily fit into the parallel lines topic, but it's related to the one in the image that I had, which I haven't covered yet. Okay. Linear grooves, these right here. Parallel lines. Not sold on that. Angled ditch, oddly straight grooves. So angled ditch is another pretty common thing we've seen. And then these could be natural. Tough call. Okay, so let's go back over to the area with the uh, place. Oh, crap. Linear grooves in rock. That just caught my eye. Mm. I don't want to go there right now. Could be geological. Okay. So we looked at these. All right. Kind of a roundabout way of getting back over here. And anything interesting here? I looked at these already. Sorry, I'm struggling. Um, okay, finally. Here we go. Am I just drawing random lines here? First of all, the image warps should be noted. Um, it's going to affect the appearance somewhat. So the main ones I want to point out are like this here. And this is a parallel one. This is kind of a parallel component here. And then we also have possible stuff like going like this. See that right there? Let's see. Can you even see it here? Like this. Could even be former coastline. All right, what else? Like this. And like faint straight lines like this, tough call because kind of blurry, kind of faint, kind of grainy. And the lighting is different in each of these. See, there's a good look at these potential parallel ones. These one, two, and this one you can see kind of goes down like that. Here's a better image. See how stark that is? And we also see another one like that. Fairly star uh, stark and like this right here. So when I, it's not really apparent till I point it out and you kind of see it like Keep this line in your vision while I clear it. So now look at it again. You kind of see something there, there, there. Kind of see an angle here. And maybe some intermediate lines here. Uh, am I succumbing to periodelia or whatever it's called? You know, like seeing patterns in random randomness? Maybe. Uh, at this uh, zoom level, I'm kind of seeing like here and like like a large scale maneuver like this. And then you kind of see parallel component like that, like that, like that. Like something went and like this is kind of like a bounding area of it almost looks like. And maybe some more over here. 
possible stuff like that even. Uh, so I would say this is a cool example. I wouldn't say it's the strongest example I have. It's not, I would say, but it's worth looking at. Let's take my place marks back on. Yeah, these I kind of pointed out. Possibly. Um, okay, what about this one right here? This guy. Uh, possibly continuing up there. Maybe this right here. Maybe. Mm, maybe that. So you can make up your own mind. I wouldn't build an entire case just on examples like this, but I think it's worth considering. So, and then also we have these parallel streaks, which may or may not be traditional beach ridges or some type of uh, big wave action or natural disaster, catastrophe, something, big grooves, long paths and stuff, may or may not be modern. Yeah, all right, I think that'll do it for this episode and for the parallel lines topical investigation. So we will move on to the next topic in the next video. All right, catch you then. Later.